Damn, guys, this thing is looking spicy at night. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> right now, we are actually at Walmart. We need to get something for the 370 because we are actually trying to start that car and basically just kind of like, actually, I'm not going to even get into it. Let's just go inside and uh, we'll see what I get. Hopefully, they have it. All right, guys, we made it inside and all we need to find is the automotive section, man. Hopefully, uh, again, hopefully they have what I need, man. And bingo, guys, it is always in the back left corner, if you guys know. That's crazy. If you're a car guy, you already know where all this stuff is. So we got coolant here. Now we just got to find what I am looking for. I'm hoping they have it, man. I looked online and it didn't say that they had it. I just, I don't know. I feel like anytime you're like looking for something, they never have anything. And like online, it's supposed to tell you if something's in stock or not. And it never does. Well, this might have been a fail. Let me keep looking up at you guys in a bit. All right, guys. So unfortunately, they do not have it. So we're going to have to make one more store run. And I will update you guys when we get there. Store number two. Let's go. Save the day. Right here. You guys have it? Yes. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah. Finally, I've been searching all over for this freaking thing. So basically, guys, you guys know that 370 is running now. And I need to bleed the coolant so we can drive it. So this is what I was looking for. And I was hoping that Walmart had it because they had it at a cheaper price. But... It's all right, we need it. And um, honestly, this is not like a bad thing to have. If you guys take out all the coolant of your car, you know, this is a really easy, easy way to bleed. It kind of looks like that. So this is what I'm be doing. Guys, we are back at the house and we have ran into a few problems. So welcome back guys, welcome back to my channel. What we are actually getting into right now, the reason why I bought that coolant thing, right? That you put that coolant thing on your radiator and you basically fill it up with coolant you turn the engine on, turn the heat on, all that stuff, and that will basically bleed all of the bubbles, the air bubbles out of your system. Well, for me, lucky me, right? I was fixing all of my leaks and I guess I didn't fix all of them yet. So the last leak that I actually have is coming from this like little chase bays, upper radiator, um, radiator upper coolant neck i guess you know this is for the 2jz specific for the 2jz because if you guys are familiar with this engine the factory one kind of like loops around right it stops about like right here well for my setup my radiator the outlet is actually up here so there wasn't really a point to run the factory one so i went and opted with the chase bays but when doing so there's actually two bolts that this thing takes there's one right here and then there's like kind of like a guide bolt that's like down there where all of my um, paper is right there. And I don't have a bolt in that lower bolt. I forgot I didn't put that one in there because I wasn't able to put it in there when I was installing it. And I was watching a video that Chase Bays came out with. I don't know, I guess I just missed the memo. So I actually installed this incorrectly. So lucky for me, I have to basically take this all apart. I wouldn't say all apart, but basically I have to take this piece off. So just removing this bolt and just taking this piece out putting that other bolt in and uh, you'll kind of like you guide that onto it. So it'll make more sense once I actually have this thing off and show you. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of get into um, this video and just show you what I was doing. So I initially bought that radiator thing to sit on the radiator and bleed my coolant system. But as you guys can see, I had a leak that I noticed. So let me go ahead and fix that. This should be the last leak. And I know I keep saying that, but I mean, hey, you know, you don't know until the engine runs and all this stuff. So I'm just finding these things slowly but surely. But by the looks of it, looking under the car, this is the actual last leak. Let's go ahead and dive in and uh, let me get started. My freaking coolant <laughs> is going everywhere, man. Oh. <laughs> That's great, but hey, at least we're fixing it, right? This off, I hope you guys can see. There's basically a bolt, a bolt that's supposed to go through here, which is like a guide bolt. Actually, let me just take the camera down, hold on. Okay, now that I have this thing off, so you guys can see this is upside down, but there's a bolt on the left, which is just a normal bolt. It just goes right through that. And then there's like a guide bolt. So basically, you put a bolt in the head already, which is that bottom right one right there. You put it in there, and then you kind of like slide this on it. And then as that's on it, then you go ahead and put this one in. So what I did when I installed this, I went ahead and just put this one in first. And then I was trying to thread this one in as it was already on it. But um, I guess you can't do it like that because it doesn't guide it on there. Also, another thing that's wrong with this situation, guys, tell me where there's the gasket. Where, where's the gasket? I don't have a gasket um, on the back of this 
or on there so I also need to go ahead and go to like AutoZone or O'Reilly's and source a gasket but honestly it was a lot easier to get off I just had to take my coolant line for my turbo off and just that one bolt out and then this thing kind of just popped up so it is super simple and super easy so I am fortunate for that but uh, yeah let me see if I can source a gasket and then also um, I need to find the other bolt which I think that the smaller bolt is going to be the uh, the one that we need in this scenario since I do have the longer one that's there so this project really shouldn't take too long it just kind of seemed like a big deal in my head oh guys I cannot get over this freaking car I know this video is not about the 350 but damn this thing looks so sick man oh, I love this thing you know what's crazy I like these wheels have been like on the back of my mind where like I really do kind of want to get rid of them but at the same time they do just look so damn good bro like I really kind of want to make this car like this car is gonna be fast don't get me wrong but a part of me wants to make this car kind of look a little stancy like not you know crazy tilty boys but just a little stancy and I uh, just have a little power to back it up but I don't know man when I see this car from the side and stuff it does look pretty sick what is your guys opinion on uh, these wheels on this car what do you think on another note guys though we have made it to O'Reilly's man hopefully they have this freaking gasket so we can button the 370 up let's see guys I am leaving here empty-handed so basically they didn't have the gasket so I think what I'm gonna have to do I'm gonna probably have to order it online and wait it kind of sucks because I really wanted to get this thing running for this weekend man but it's all good man at least I do have a car a cool car to drive right I have this one and then you guys know I also have my eyes 300 so We'll see, but dang, bro, it really sucks. I really thought that they would have the gasket. I'm gonna throw it up on the screen so you guys can know which one I'm talking about. And I already showed you, but uh, it is what it is. Let's go home. Smelling. Good morning, guys. How are we doing today? It is a brand new day, and I hope everyone is doing just as well as I am. I actually pulled up to Toyota Carlsbad. Uh, their parts department is actually around back. There was just some speed bumps, so I couldn't go back there, but I'm here at Toyota Carlsbad, and I needed to try to find that gasket and bro they had it man online this thing was like twenty dollars and they had it for only four so now we're gonna go home and i'll hopefully get that thing squared away so if anybody's looking for the part number for that gasket this is gonna be it big shout out to my people at toyota carl's batman thank you okay guys so now that i have this gasket right what you want to do instead of like putting the gasket there and then putting the bolts in you you basically want to put this bolt in first this one bolt you're gonna put this one in first, thread it in a little bit, and you're just gonna have this gasket like hang there. And then after that, as you guys see from like that little slit or whatever, you just wanna basically slide that over here, and then you're gonna thread in the other bolt. So sounds a little bit more complicated than it actually is, but um, let me see what the orientation is of this. I believe it has to be like that, but let me just double check, and then I'm gonna go ahead and throw everything together. All right guys, just like that, I have this thing on. I do need to go to the store because I need to get a special type of uh, screw for the bottom one because I cannot use like a regular Allen key or something like this. It actually has to be like a ball point so that way you can hit it at an angle in a way. So that's the last thing, but this thing is on there. I have the gasket in between there. Everything is pretty much tight besides that bottom one as I mentioned. So once I do that, go ahead and throw my pipe back on and I'll fill this thing up with coolant and then we shouldn't have any more leaks from there at least. So I'm pretty excited about that. And um, yeah, man, that, that's really the last piece to get this thing running. So hopefully soon you guys will see this thing moving on its own. On another note though, guys, I think what I'm getting ready to do, I'm probably gonna jack up the rear and take the rear wheel, which is actually the driver rear, take that wheel to my boy. So that way that can be in the process of getting fixed. And then uh, yeah, so we can get that thing back. It shouldn't really take him that long. I do wanna go ahead and get that done while I'm thinking about it. So let's go ahead and do that. Other than that, man, I think that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, please leave me a like, subscribe to the channel and uh, stay tuned for more content, man.